As I've learned from, Rab from Rabbi Zeldin, the conservative movement in California, in Southern California, uh, had started a small school in the San Fernando Valley that was in great financial difficulty. They attempted to, to start a high school, but mid-year, they ran out of money. Word got to Rabbi Zeldin that the school was gonna fail, the students would be without a school, and the faculty would, would be without pay. And Rabbi Zeldin went to Michael Milken and shared with Michael Milken this, the challenge that existed and said to Michael that if this school failed, there never would again be an opportunity to develop a liberal Jewish high school in, in Los Angeles. And Rabbi Zeldin and Michael agreed to put together the money to cover the debts of that school and to, and to make it a Stephen Weiss Temple School. In the first year, uh, they had no location. They decided the location in the, in the North San Fernando Valley was not going to work for the families that Rabbi Zeldin wanted to have joined the school. So they approached what was then called the University of Judaism across the street from Stephen Weiss Temple and looked to um, use classrooms at the university. No classrooms were available, so they ended up using the dorm rooms of the University of Judaism and put the students of the high school in dorm rooms. This was before even trailers were used for the school. Rabbi Zeldin informed me that he and Matuka, but largely Matuka Benjamin, made the decision as to which teachers that, were, that came with that initial school would stay with the school, and some of those teachers remained with what became eventually Milken Community High School for over two decades. So, so, and some of those early students, um, well, those early students became our first graduates. The two biggest moments were probably the commitment of the Milken family, Lowell and Michael Milken, to work with Rabbi Zeldin and Matuka Benjamin to make this the uh, premier Jewish high school in the country. It could have been just another part of the Stephen Weiss Temple educational system, which it was for many years, but the decision to develop it as a world-class institution was a joint decision of the Milkins and Rabbi Zeldin and Matuka Benjamin. That was probably the first. The second major decision was the decision to split Milken Community High School, as it was called at that time, from Stephen Weiss Temple. It was something that engaged thoughtful people at Stephen Weiss Temple, in the Jewish community, and at Milken for many years. But ultimately, a decision was made and, and approved by all that both institutions would be better served by working on their important mission separately. And that decision actually allowed Milken Community School to grow and prosper in ways that might not have happened if it had remained part of the Stephen Weiss Temple community forever. Rabbi Zeldin had a vision that a school should serve the entire Jewish community. He never wanted the school to be a school for the reform movement, for the conservative movement, or even the orthodox movement, but the entire Jewish community both the name of the school with the word community in it, but also how Judaism was taught on campus came from Rabbi Zeldin's goal to produce educated Jews, not just members of particular movements of Judaism. He would be not only proud and pleased, he would be surprised at how well we've done because while he had great faith and optimism, I think he would be amazed at how much we've accomplished and how high we've set our goals for the years ahead. Much of the funding for the school prior to the separation came from the members of Stephen Weiss Temple. Perhaps 90% of the fund that went into the building of the school came from the efforts of Rabbi Zeldin, the efforts of Matuka Benjamin, largely, and of course, the Milken family as well, but largely members of the Stephen Weiss Temple community 
stepped up financially for the school. There were many other, in the, many other individuals in the community who had the wherewithal to support Milken Community School, but they belonged to other congregations. And while their students went to Milken, most of their donor dollars did not. So one of the largest motivators was the desire to uh, make clear that the school was an independent school and needed to raise funds from the entire Jewish community. Initially, Rabbi Zeldin, Matuka Benjamin, and the Milken family wanted to bring to our students the benefit of, of meeting and interacting with leaders in our society, both in the U.S. and from Israel. And once that began, others who were important individuals around the world wanted to come to Milken to speak to, speak to our students. We have a reputation that is not just a Los Angeles reputation any longer. We have become uh, known throughout the country and throughout the world as the leading Jewish secondary school in the country. And now thought leaders want to come to talk to us. Lowell Milken and Michael Milken have supported the school financially and with their heart and soul. They have devoted time and they've devoted members of their staff to work with the administrators at Milken for decades. I've been very impressed with Lowell's 30-year commitment to this institution and his concern about what we accomplish here. I would best say that the success of this school is like a uh, three-legged stool. It exists because of the Milken family as one leg of the stool, stool, the vision of Rabbi Zeldin and the Stephen Weiss Temple community as another part of that three-legged stool, and lastly, the commitment of now thousands of Jewish families who invested their kids in coming here when there were alternatives. It's only because of the Milkins, Rabbi Zeldin and Stephen Weiss Temple, and the families that have contributed and made a decision to come here that we are as successful as we are. Ken and Wendy's commitment to this school and to the Jewish community, the mentors that, we, that will be our graduates will be the leaders of the Jewish community, not just in Los Angeles, but around the country, and that I will not only have children who will be graduates of Milken, but perhaps my grandchildren will be graduates of Milken as well.